This is a wonderful piece from Thomas Pohl. We have a little cube here, which has all these Chinese characters all over it. And if you're not a magician, this won't make sense, but if you are a magician, I want to show you. Notice how I can grab the cube, I can give it a good shake from any side, I can toss it around in the air. And again, if you're not a magician, this won't make sense, but if you are a magician, this may um, fool you just a little bit. There's also a hole which goes directly through the cube that you can see right there. So you can actually put the wand through the cube, and obviously this holds the cube in place on the wand. Then we also have a little stand. This has some holes on either side for the wand to go through and it kind of holds the wand suspended there. Obviously, if you put the cube inside of the stand, it hits the wand and it cannot go further than that. You can have a spectator push on it, they can tap it, it doesn't move. It's blocked by this wand, which is made of solid wood, okay? That said, if I just pass my hand around the block a couple of times, put the block back on the wand, and cast a shadow along either side, we can actually cause the cube to go directly through the wand. As crazy as it is, it penetrates completely through, leaving the block stuck on the wand. Obviously now the block is trapped, it cannot come off. The only way to get the block off is to remove the wand completely, and then of course the block can come directly out of the stand. And that is the wonderful trick from Thomas Pohl. It has a very different method, which means if you know other methods, it probably fooled you. Not only is it gorgeous, it's very magical.